Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we're going to be reviewing a figure based on an animal that appeared in episode 4 of Walking with Dinosaurs, Giant of the Skies. I chose Tapijara, and to represent that animal, today we're reviewing the Safari LTD Tapijara. Now this is technically a species of Tupendactylus now, um, paleontological knowledge has improved over time and this has been reclassified as its own genus, but the figure is called Tapijara, so that's what I'm going to call it. Now, Tapijara was a Tapijarid pterosaur that lived in what is now Brazil 112 million years ago during the early Cretaceous period. Okay, let's have a look at this guy. Now, immediately, what's apparent is this incredibly colourful head crest. Bright red, very distinctive tappy jarids. And I also love the blue on the rest of the head as well. The coloration on this figure is wonderful. It's a bit hard to film though because these wings get in the way. Okay, let's try and get some focus on that head. Okay, there we go. We can see we've got this beautiful blue on sort of like the forehead, if you can call it that, and then transition into this black towards the top of the crest. But then the front, like the nose is like a pink, and then the very tip is white, and then transition back to this black. And with this tiny, tiny little yellow eye, very nicely seated. Unfortunately, there is a lot of shrink wrapping going on on the head, which is unfortunate. But the coloration is still wonderful. The nostrils are nicely sculpted there. This side of the head also looks wonderful. And when we look at the wings, look at the incredible detail going on with these wings. This smooth gradient from this black, or dark, very dark brown, to this red, and then to yellow towards the tips. And on the underside, it's the same as well. And we've got this uh, skin wrinkling, because uh, pterosaur wings, uh, wings are very reminiscent of bat wings rather than bird wings. As in, the uh, the, the wingtip is made up of um, this extension of, um, I believe it's the extension of one of the, uh, the digits, but I can't remember if that's technically correct still. And then this is very fine skin that comprises the actual wings that allow it to lift. And I think this has been done wonderfully on the Tapijara. When we look at the body, we look at the chest, we've got very present uh, pectoral muscles here. And we've got this very, um, we've got pycnofibers on the body, which is accurate. And I really like that they added that attention to detail. In fact, we now know that pterosaurs may have actually had feathers, which is incredibly cool. You can see the arms as well have the pycnofibers, really well done. The tiny little tail, reminiscent of pterodactyloid pterosaurs, the short tailed ones. And when we get to the feet, they've got the correct number of toes, posed very nicely. They've got five toes, four, like this, and then two uh, dew claws, very nicely done. Underside, same deal. You can just make out the finer scalation on the feet. I love the coloration of the body as well, like this very light creamy color, and then this very dark brown. It's just wonderful. While the pose, I know it's a bit annoying when pterosaurs have their wings spread out to uh, display them. I think it works in this one's favour. I think that's all I have to say, so let's measure this beautiful figure off. So in terms of the length, we're looking at about... Uh, let's say that is... That's a tricky one. I think that's about just shy of 10 centimeters long and in terms of the width looking at about wow 23 centimeter wingspan this is bigger than I thought okay thank you guys for watching if you would like one of these figures for yourself go to everythingdinosaur.com and if you'd like to check out my review of the episode giant of the skies celebrating walking with dinosaurs 20 year anniversary uh, stay tuned for the end card that will be on in just a moment. Thank you so much for watching. Let's continue to celebrate 20 years of Walking with Dinosaurs. Thank you. Bye-bye now.